I have logged into crisis server as root user. In this session, we will take a look at how to use Oracle ASMLIP command to update the Oracle ASMLIP kernel driver. We will also take a look at how to stop and unload Oracle ASMLIP kernel driver module. As you can see here, I am running Oracle Linux Server Release 6.4. This is my Linux kernel version, and notice that this is a 64-bit server. Also notice that this is an unbreakable enterprise kernel. Now, let us take a look at man page for Oracle ASM update driver command. Oracle ASM update driver command can be used to update the Oracle ASM lib kernel driver software. If the system is registered with unbreakable Linux network, then this command will try to download and install latest version of ASMLIP kernel driver from unbreakable Linux network. This command can also download and install latest version of ASMLIP kernel driver from Oracle Technology Network. We have few options with this command to do a dry run or an option to just download latest ASMLIP kernel driver software. Now, let us take a look at man page for Oracle ASM exit command. Oracle ASM exit command can be used to shut down and unload the Oracle ASM lib kernel driver module. We can use this command if situation demands us to shut down Oracle ASM lib kernel driver module. Oracle ASM exit command if possible unloads the Oracle ASM lib kernel driver after shutting down the manager device. Shutdown may fail if the manager device is in use. Unload will happen only after all manager devices are shut down. Remember that we have to shut down local ASM instance before running Oracle ASM exit command. Now let us check the status of Oracle ASM lib kernel driver. As you can see here, Oracle ASMLIP kernel driver is loaded. And Oracle ASMLIP mount point is mounted. Now, let us try to run Oracle ASM exit command. Because we don't have local ASM instance running on this server, Oracle ASM exit command completed successfully. As you can see here, Oracle ASM lib mount point is unmounted. And then Oracle ASM lib kernel driver module is unloaded.
As you can see here, Oracle ASM Lip Kernel Driver is no longer loaded. Now, let us load and initialize Oracle ASM Lip Kernel Driver using Oracle ASM init command. Now, Oracle ASM Lip Kernel Driver is loaded. Now, let us run Oracle ASM scan disks command. This command will instantiate all ASM disks. In this session, we have looked at how to use Oracle ASM lib command to update the Oracle ASM lib kernel driver. We have also looked at how to stop and unload Oracle ASM lib kernel driver module.